Hey guys. Oh my god. So I'm doing a live. I'm just gonna wait until someone hops on. I'm loving my glasses so much. So much. So, okay. I'm doing this live to answer any law of assumption questions. Hello, guys. So, anything to do with law of assumption, I will answer. So, ask me anything that you want. I have not done a TikTok live in months. I did it once, ages ago. And <laughs> I got banned for saying something. I don't even remember what I said. Hi! Hi, Mill Millet. How did you manifest your dream body? I manifested my dream body by visualizing. Because I was thinking like, <clears throat> well, to be honest. Hi, Nikki. Oh my God. Hi. So to be honest, I was born with a curvy body. Like, before I knew about manifestation, I had just always, 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 always had, like, a curvy, like, even when I was, like, a skeleton, I still had those curves because my hips are wide. So, uh, that's that. But... I went through a period in 2016, a long time ago, where I broke my foot at 21 and I gained a lot of weight. And the way that I manifested, like, I'm talking about, like, I gained, like, 20 kilograms because I couldn't move for months. The way that I manifested my weight loss is through visualization. So I would just visualize myself looking a certain way. And that was, like... You know, my dream weight. So I closed my eyes, went within. Every single day I set out a time for 10 minutes. Literally just 10 minutes. I made it as simple as possible. And, you know, I wouldn't ever think it. I would just live my best life. And then I gave myself 10 minutes whenever I had the time. To visualize myself being 60 kilograms and looking how I want. And the way that I visualized it was I looked at myself in the mirror. Not physically, but in my mind. And as I looked at myself in the mirror, I raised my t-shirt. I remember it like it was yesterday. And I just saw so clearly and vividly my dream body. And after visualizing it after a couple of days like I just got inspired action to eat this not eat this it was like my own personal azempic because I just didn't want to eat the things that I was eating before I was inspired to go to the gym thank you so much the glasses go crazy so I got like a bunch of glasses on AliExpress and they're prescription I'm like minus three myopic so that's like I'm I'm short short sighted, I think. So I can't see very far away. Yeah, that's short sighted. So you literally get like not sponsored at all. Funnily enough, AliExpress wants to sponsor me on my YouTube videos and I don't I haven't responded to them because I'm very, very picky on what I sponsor. Because like my business my coaching and my courses are like my business. So I care more about promoting that. So if I do see anything that I really, really love, I promote. But 
this isn't sponsored. They wanted, they have emailed me so much wanting to be like, oh, we have a promotion going on. Can you talk about, you know, the new items that we have out and then we'll send them out to you and pay you. I don't do any of that. But in saying that, my partner is obsessed with AliExpress and he got me onto this, like with the glasses. So I bought a bunch of them for like $5. And it's like minus three myopic glasses, and because, like, yeah, they I can see clearly for like five dollars. Girl, your snowstorm subliminal. I was so excited because I couldn't sleep with the fires up. I know, I know. Like, <laughs> I couldn't. Well, I could sleep with it, but listen, this time last year I made the fire self-concept subliminal literally it was fire crackling sounds and I was okay because I was like so excited because it was like one of my first subliminals but one thing you should know is I live in Australia and in Australia we are going into summer and it is like hot so this time last year during the summer I would listen to like fire crackling every single night because I was so excited I was like I'm fine with it but I'm like we have to change this like I have I've raised my self-concept. It's time for me to listen to something that I actually am more comfortable with right now. Because, like, imagine listening to fire when it's, like, boiling hot. So I just decided to do it for myself. And the subliminals that I make for myself, I'm like, people... (laughs) I'm guessing people would love that as well. So why not just post it on my YouTube channel? And a lot of people have been loving it. And... I'm not going to lie to you, like, this, that is the thing that I'm going to be listening to non-stop. Like, it's going to be a year from now, I promise you, I'm going to be sitting here and I'm going to be like, I'm listening to the Snowstorm self-concept subliminal because I listened to that fire one for this entire time since I've uploaded it and it has helped me so much. I took a break from it and I could see the results of it not hap- not working because I stopped and then as soon as I started again I'm like okay I feel like I have the highest self-concept ever yeah but if you don't know what I'm talking about you can just YouTube search Rita Kaminsky self-concept and there's one two minute long one that's like you can just add to your daily playlist and then there's like two overnight ones that you should be listening to every single night, but then you can also listen to it when you're like doing your work or like homework or whatever during the day. One is fire. One I just uploaded literally like yesterday, um, like two or three days ago, which is like snowstorm. But the affirmations are like, I'm that bitch. I'm the luckiest person in the world. I'm the creator of my reality. I'm the apparent power. All of that stuff. When do you listen to your subs? Like all day or mainly at night or morning? Mainly like almost exclusively in the evening. So like I do this consistently every single night. Because I see how my life is when I'm listening to subliminals every single night versus not. So I don't even have to remind myself. It's like, duh. Like, of course. Of course I'm going to listen to a subliminal. And I would go back and forth. Because I've made, like, at this point, maybe 10 to 15 subliminals. And I'd go to, like, the money one, the social media one, um, the weight loss one like a bunch of ones and I would consistently go back to where my chapstick at I would consistently go back to like the self-concept one because I feel like it just encapsulates everything I have a playlist a secret playlist that I'm still deciding like who will get it but it's my it's it's a playlist that it's not just my subliminals it's my favorite people's subliminals so during the day 
when I'm like working on my courses or I'm working on something where I just need white noise, I listen to like my subliminal playlist, my curated subliminal playlist that isn't necessarily my own subliminals. So yeah. Can you make a sub for anxiety and depression? The thing is, like, I would rather make a sub for living your highest timeline. You know what I mean? And I basically have already. So I would suggest for you to YouTube search Rita Kaminsky, Pinterest, board, subliminal. And it's basically like all of the umbrella affirmations that are my favorite. So like... Uh, everything in my life is perfect, magical, and easy. I'm living my best life. I'm so lucky. Like, I am a must manifester. I get everything that I want. Like, I can literally, like, pull them up now. And what happens then is that you're not, like, focusing on your anxiety and depression. You are letting the anxiety and depression be there. And what happens then is, like, your anxiety and depression is like, oh, like, what the fuck? Like, she's not fighting me to leave. And you're just focusing on everything's amazing. My life is literally perfect. And it just naturally dwindles away. So everything is happening. Best case scenario for me. Everything in my life is easy and perfect. I am the woman who has it all. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it amazing? I always get what I want. Everything is going my way. I have it all now. I am always experiencing miracles. Every time I breathe, my life gets better. Every time I breathe, I get my desires. Every time I... Everything I do propels me to my desires. I'm so lucky. That's just the way it is. Everything always goes my way. That's just the way it is. My life is perfect. My life is exactly how I want it to be. I have a bunch of other affirmations, but you can just YouTube search Rita Kaminsky Umbrella Affirmations, Pinterest, Board Life. Go into the description and you have a Google Doc of all of those affirmations. For, yeah. Okay. I missed a bunch of questions, so I'm just picking the ones that I like. Have you ever had an I met a moment from something you manifested? Definitely <laughs> my 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I wanted 100,000 subscribers for 16 years. Like, I'm not even joking, for 16 years. And nothing was working for me. And I just didn't give up. And then I learned about the law of assumption. And you best believe that was the first thing that I tried to manifest. And I did sats. And in six weeks, I went from 30,000 subscribers. Because I have had accumulated 30,000 subscribers for the, the span of 16 years. But I wanted it to like, I wanted to impact millions of people. Use that. And I did that. But like, before that, like when I did that, I already knew. I, in my heart, in my soul, in everything inside me, I already knew that the law of assumption was real. The first time where I thought that I knew the manifesting was real, one of the first times, because guys, like I've been doing this for a very long time. You guys don't even know. I found out about Law of Assumption in 2022, but manifesting, I knew about since I was eight years old. And at 21 years old, I started really implementing it. And at 22 years old, the first 
huge thing that I manifested where I was like, okay, this thing is 100% real was my like first full-time job right out of college because I wanted to, I I didn't know what I was, I wanted to do and like just a, a bunch of self-concept things that I won't get into right now, but like I wanted to, you know, prove something to my parents, I guess. And then I manifested the uh, journalism, like video producer at Daily Mail job where I visualize myself shaking man's hand and that worked. And that's when I was like, oh, like manifesting is for real. But in saying that before that, I had so many other things that happened. So it was kind of like more of like a over time sort of vibe. Hi, Queen Rita. Hi, Angel Wings. I want to change my eye color. It's turned lighter, but I want it green. Girl, you have green eyes now. Like, don't look at yourself in the mirror. Don't take selfies. And if you do, be completely delusional and be like, I have green eyes. Do whatever it calls to you, like Photoshop yourself with green eyes. Affirm that you have green eyes. <sighs> Visualize yourself with green eyes. If that's your priority, you will be doing all of the techniques, like as much as possible, that call out to you, that don't feel like work. Right. But if you can avoid, like this has to do with anything to do with like appearance change. If you can avoid looking at yourself in the mirror or validating how you look like in the mirror right now to be the reality, do that. So even if you do look at yourself in the mirror or you have to take photos because like a group photo or whatever, be like, yeah, this is fake. Like I have green eyes and just do not let up. Just a hundred percent be in the knowing that you have green eyes, period. I'm trying to do stats at night, but I keep getting distracted by my thoughts. What do I do? <sighs> you practice, you stay dedicated to it because it's so worth it. And I have been there. I totally understand it. And you have to remind yourself that if you do sats correctly, you will literally get your manifestation. And isn't that some shit? This is real motherfucking shit, you guys. This isn't a joke. This isn't a game. What you visualize or affirm as you go to sleep, as you fall asleep, will manifest at the most within three days. Three days will be like, it's late. It should be showing up. Signs of it should be showing up already the following day. So tell yourself that. What's more important? You letting yourself go and thinking about thoughts that don't help you in your life and your progression and whatever you want, like out of your life. Or, you know... You continually bring back your thoughts, being disciplined, being like, oh, actually I have this, actually I have this, actually I have this. Bringing back to your affirmation, bringing it back to your visualization, whatever it is that you want to manifest. What are the countries are you planning to go to in Southeast Asia? I am done with Southeast Asia for now. I really want to go back to Italy, but in terms of Southeast Asia, like, I've done the ones that I really wanted to go to, like Thailand, Bali, I went to Bali when I was 21, and Vietnam, but I'm thinking, like, I might, this is just an option, it's not something that I'm prioritizing. But there's always an option to, like, 
go to Bali and get a villa for like a month and just to work on content with no distractions. Like, that sounds like a vibe to me. And anything that sounds like a vibe to me is what I'm going to do. But for now, my vibe is like, I want to go back to Amalfi Coast. I want to go back to Italy. Okay, I'm going to get some mineral water. Okay. Because I've been talking and when I talk, I need mineral water. Or water. Or wine. (laughs) Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm affirming away a health thing. My family keeps saying I need to just deal and do all the things. Okay, whenever someone tells you something like, you know, you've got to be realistic or whatever, you have to just, like, be like, okay. Like, to them, just be like, yeah, okay. Like, be nice about it, be peaceful, but then ultimately know, like, what it is that you want to do. And what you want to do is stay in your mind consistently, duh, and be like, I don't need to do this, this, and this. You know what I mean? So I had this definitely when I was like working my nine to five or like whatever, like I just pretend like whatever you say, like whatever you say. But I know that in my mind, like, the reality is whatever it is in my mind. So you have to always prioritize that and kind of talk to the people that are in your life like a kid. Like, yeah, okay, sure, of course, yeah, of course. But don't do it, like, in in real life, don't do it, like in a bitchy way or in a in a condescending way be nice for sure but you know like in my mind I know what it is I run the show things in the 3D I ignore it and persist wait did I miss a part of that section oh okay so this is the same person Um, like work, etc. because they don't believe it's as bad as I say. How do I deal with hearing unfavorable things in the 3D? I ignore and persist. Have the confidence, but it's stressful hearing it. Don't talk to people about your shit. Like, when I was manifesting, you know, being on YouTube, I didn't tell anyone. I was just like... Just smile and wave, boys. That's from Madagascar, right? Like, you're nice, you're kind, you're not condescending. You're like, yes, of course, whatever you say. And then in your mind, you're like, I'm the opera in power. I know what it is. So it actually is like this. Don't let other people sway you from what you get to see in your reality, what you get to manifest in your own reality and what has helped me the most is not letting people in on my manifestations not letting people into my world of what I'm thinking about of what I want because they're going to reflect to your doubts they're going to reflect their own doubts whatever it is you don't need that kind of negativity and doubts in your life like the second that I realized that and I just zipped it people asking me about like oh how's work or how's this or you know whatever it is that has to do with my manifestations I'd be like yeah it's amazing it's going good thank you so much and then I would revert it to like a different topic And that's it. And it would just dwindle away. It would just phase out naturally. 
And I would just continue going in my mind palace, going in my own mind, and manifesting exactly what the fuck I wanted. But it really is worth, and I still do this, to just... I have one friend, you guys. I have one best friend, and I have a partner. And I have, like, I'm I'm very close with my mom and dad. That's it. I don't let anyone else come into my world. Because if you don't have good intentions for me, or if you don't know how this whole manifestation thing works, or if you're not anything positive in my life, I'm not going to tell you shit about shit. And going further than that, I don't, I just don't want to hear your limiting beliefs. Because I might not be telling you about my personal manifestations and what it is that I want to manifest, but I also don't want to hear you being like, I'm broke or, you know, nothing good happens to me. Like, get that energy away from me. Like, ew. Robotic affirming is so super exhausting. What do you suggest if you struggle with visual too? Scripting really works. Yeah. Uh, do you like scripting? Just pick a technique that you like the most that you hate the least, right? Even if you hate all of them, which one do you hate the least? Because don't robotic affirm, like, if if you're saying it's super exhausting, that's your subconscious mind telling you that you shouldn't be manifesting in that way. So don't do that. But there are so many techniques I would suggest also, so I suggest try scripting. So basically just like writing down in like a diary entry that like, oh, hi, like dear diary, um, I have. And so does I here and just like go on a tangent and you can do this for like five to 10 minutes. Like guys, you were all making this so complicated. It doesn't have to be that complicated. We can literally just manifest for five minutes during the day. And that's it. That's literally it. And it's still going to come to us. Another thing that I would suggest is to script right before you go to bed. So I want you to not go on your phone. Not do anything else. I want like the very last thing that you do before you pass out is... Write like a desires list of the things that you have now. Like I have insert desire here. I am blah 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 whatever. Don't think too much into it. Write just write it and just that's it. Go to sleep. Cause what I figured out myself was that like scripting right before you go to sleep is also sad. It's not you fully falling asleep into the knowing that you have this thing but it's the very last thing that you're doing but you just have to make sure that it's the very last thing I'm talking like don't talk to anyone else don't check your phone again just make a list and go to sleep and that's what will work if you can't visualize or robotically affirming is exhausting for you I'm listening to subliminals every night while I sleep and this live came up. I love that subliminals are the best, honestly. Like, you're telling me I don't have to do anything and it just comes to me by me sleeping. Isn't that amazing? Intrusive thoughts. Rita, any tips about intrusive thoughts while manifesting SP? 
you gotta make those thoughts just not mean anything. Like, who the fuck are you? Like, if you thought of something ridiculous, like, if you just have an intrusive thought of Shrek, would you let that stop you from your manifestation? No, like, no, obviously, because it has nothing to do with your manifestation. <laughs> so, you got to, like, all of the intrusive thoughts that you think, because you are the operant power of your reality, like, those intrusive thoughts have nothing to do with you or your manifestations, your desires, or your life. So just laugh them off and continue manifesting your desire. I can't wait anymore for my manifestation and want it now because I feel in a sad place. How? Good. You should be feeling that. You should be feeling impatient. Use that feeling of impatience and fuel it into your manifestations. If I'm already scripting, how do I pray to God, pretend like already happened, or just ask? Um, whatever makes you feel the best. To be honest, I talk to God like I pray, and I've prayed my entire life, and I'm like, I have a solid relationship with God, so you like don't be afraid of how you phrase things you know what I mean like if you feel like you want to ask from a place of not having that's what how I do it I'm like god help me see this in a clearer way help me understand how to be more in alignment how to be more in the vortex how to do less like let everything be easy and just receive without having to do anything yeah talk to him like he's your best friends because he is and the thing is like that comes also with like a high self-concept because if you trust in yourself and you know that like nothing will get in the way between you and your manifestation you won't care how it's phrased it's you're only going to care about like how it feels to you like are you comfortable in the way that you're phrasing it are you happy? Do you feel good in the way that you're phrasing it? That's the only thing that matters. If we don't know what have happened in the past, can we choose what we want to have happened? Yeah, you're in like a amazing position because so many people like want to revise and not to say that you can't revise while knowing your past. But it's just so simple when you don't don't know. Because you can just set it to be whatever you want. And whether you do know or don't know, it doesn't matter. Because everything is in the now. So the only thing that matters is what do you get... What do you decide gets to be true for you now? And gets to be true for you, like, in the past. And that's exactly what it's going to be. Thanks, Laura. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I feel like I'm in the wrong place with the wrong people. Thank you, Melita. Your name rhymes with my name, Melita and Rita. I feel like I'm in the wrong place with the wrong people and it's stressing me out. How do I change? Okay. I definitely had this before. I definitely felt like I was not around the right people, especially when I was working my nine to five. And the thing that actually helped me was like, I stopped talking about it I stopped talking about it to others so I stopped venting and I also stopped thinking it in my mind I was just like okay 
yeah, I'm around the wrong people, but everything, like, I'm moving towards my best life. And I consistently repeated to myself that, like, everything is, I'm trying to remember exactly what I was thinking to get me out of that. Everything that feels bad is not true. And circumstances don't matter. Yeah, I would consistently repeat to myself, like, the circumstances that I don't want to have in my life don't matter. So whatever feels bad doesn't matter. It's not true. And I will see that it's not true when I stop reacting to it. Because when I stop reacting to it, it literally ceases to exist for my life. And it's not like... It ceases to exist from your life, like, it's still happening in your reality, you're just not seeing it. I'm talking about, like, it's as if it never happened in your reality. It's crazy. It's like, I've had conversations with people where I was like, yeah, Bola, you know, when this happened, they're like, what are you talking about? Because I moved to another reality. You know what I mean? So, as long as you are completely ignoring, to the best of your ability, uh, those people, or, you know, don't make it forceful, because what we resist persists, but just t- keep telling yourself, what feels bad is not true. What I'm experiencing that feels bad is not true, and you will naturally move out of that. Do I affirm for 10 minutes when I can't affirm for the whole day? Yeah. Pick 10 minutes. And when you're doing those 10 minutes, you want to really get into the feeling as much as you possibly can with no distractions. Like, it's not about robotically affirming at this point. It's about actually feeling it. And then... um. You have to really know. And that's it. And as long as, like, throughout the day, you're just living your best life and you're not questioning it. Like, you can question it sometimes. Don't overthink it. I feel like the law of of assumption community is, like, you have to be perfect with this. You don't... There's grace to this. You don't have to be perfect. But as long as most of the time... You're either distracting yourself with other things in your life or you're thinking in your favor, you're going to be just fine and your manifestation is going to come ASAP. And this mineral water is so good. Oh, it's so refreshing. Perpoala, hi. I adore you too. And yes, let's be friends. We can be friends for sure. When scripting and praying to God, we are in different reality. You are getting yourself to that reality when you are scripting, for sure. I really need to manifest my dream body to feel confident. It's going to happen. It's already done. You already have it. Just continue to repeat it in your mind as much as possible throughout the day like this is the thing and I haven't done a YouTube video about this yet I haven't talked about this yet at all and I haven't even written it I should write this down actually on my YouTube notes I have a huge like list of the YouTube like topics I should cover YouTube video ideas I have to write this because this is important like okay If you are the type of person that can believe that is going to work out really well for you. And this is what, like, law of assumption coaches don't want to tell you. Believing is really powerful. It's not the end all and be all. And let me, let me, like, 
tell you all of the all of the choices because you don't have to just believe. But believing, if you truly like believe, even though if it's not happening, like if you truly believe, like yeah, like in in my reality right now, this is hand cream. By the way, because I can't find my lip balm right now. It's somewhere here, but I can't be bothered. This is so moisturizing though, and it smells really nice. My pa my partner's mum got me this. And I put it on every night and it smells really nice. Um So believing is like magical. And it will get you your manifestation so quickly. But if you can't, like that's okay. If you can't believe, you must repeat mindlessly as much as possible throughout the day either one of those options just works so well okay I have to write this down because like I need to talk about this in my youtube video but y'all like y'all have permission to get a tea or a water sparkling water some wine anything that you want while I'm writing this down Okay. Believing Okay. Perfect. Guys, I have like 63 YouTube video ideas. 18 subliminal ideas. Crazy. I have a lot. And I don't even use them because I get like channeled messages every day. So there is that. Ooh, I locked my phone for a sec. Okay. So. Do you have a simple affirmation for a desired glow up? Everything about me is perfect. Also, I want you to go on my glow up subliminal. I have two, but they're the same affirmations. They are the glow up overnight and just the normal one and I want you to go on that video so you just YouTube search Rita Kaminsky glow up subliminal go into the description and I have a google doc there and uh, I think it's like 10 pages worth of affirmations for glow ups pick the affirmation that works for you because the ones that you resonate with the most is going to help you the most. And I have some amazing ones in there. Like, amazing. Just amazing. It pumps me up so much. I just don't know where to start. I feel... I have so much to manifest. Close your eyes and really ask yourself, like, what do I really, really want? If nothing was wrong... If I couldn't fuck it up, if no one was mad at me, what would I want right now? If everything else manifested, if a genie came to me right now and I, I could manifest everything and everything, everything, everything was going to happen, but the first, the very first thing the genie said, what do you want to manifest first? What would it be? That falls away like all of the resistance of I have so much stuff to manifest falls away because you'll know that like all of it will manifest but what is the very first thing that I should focus on right now fully know and trust that everything will manifest but let's just start with like our priority like everyone has 
so many things to manifest. I have so many things to manifest. But in my heart of hearts, I'm like, I know I want to manifest a million subscribers. And I want to manifest 70 enrollments into my courses a month. So that's what I'm going to put my energy into consistently. Come to Italy. Oh my god. Okay, I will. I was there last year and I definitely will come back to Italy in a couple of months. Europe 2025. It's happening. You are inherently worthy. That's so true. It is so true. How do I brainwash myself into believing that? You just consistently remind yourself every single day. I'm going to be talking about self-concept in a new YouTube video. So... I would suggest to listen to that because it's going to be a rampage of all of this like self-concept stuff but like everyone was born worthy you literally don't have to do anything for that and I'm going to be releasing a self-concept course where I literally drill it into your brain that you are inherently worthy and you're worthy of all of your desires it's literally coming out in a week. So keep your eyes peeled out for that as well. And if you want to be mm, alerted, just email me at contact at com, Or you can just, like, literally you can just DM me on TikTok and be like, Rita, like, can you just let me know, like, heads up when this self-concept course comes out? because I want to join. Thank you for all your videos. Helped me a lot when I was going through a difficult time last year. That really means a lot to me. I'm really helped. I'm really happy that my videos helped. Which is better, persist in your affirmations or tell what you want and then let it go? There's no right answer to this. It's what feels the best for you. So, like, some chapters of my life, I want to continue to persist. Some chapters, I want to just, like, remind myself whenever I'm thinking about it, but then otherwise just live my best life, and each has brought me my desires. It's not about what you do, it's about what feels the best for you to do right now. So you have to go within and really be confident in like what you want and ultimately trust yourself in that Rita I did coaching with you one year ago it was amazing thank you so much that means so much to me thank you so much have you left a testimonial solo and if not, can you, like, email me so I can ask you a couple of questions? Because, like, if you already have, that's totally fine. But it helps me a lot for, like, new people wondering if coaching is for them. And then they go on the website and they look at, like, testimonials. That would be so, 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 so helpful if you're comfortable with that. Just... TikTok, DM me or just email me, like, reply to me back to the email that we talked um, for coaching. I put so much energy into my manifestation and I only get disappointed. I get that. I totally get that. 
Nicole. But you have to be careful of your language because I I remember being in that mental state where I was like very cognizant of the state of not having and then being like, okay, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Like believing in law of assumption, but being like, where is it? Come on, hurry up now. Where like the mistake that you're making is like, you need to be fully into this. Like, you need to be fully dedicated in knowing that, like, this is your reality now. Either it's your reality now or it's coming to you very, very quickly. And there is no other option. That's it. You have to be fully into this. Like, you cannot... Like, you cannot serve two masters. You have to be fully into one story and that's it be completely confident like door slam like youtube search Rudy Kaminsky Barbados door slam I explained the whole like Neville Goddard um Abdullah being his mentor and being like you can't be thinking like when am I going to Barbados to see my family all of this stuff you have to fully be knowing that I have already gone to Barbados and I have flown first class. Oh my god, Sola, okay. Do me a favor. Message me on TikTok and we can do this on TikTok. And I would be so grateful for that. And I can send you a couple of questions. Matter of fact, I can pull them up right now. Because testimonies mean so much to me. Um, And we can just do it that way. It's super easy. Okay, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. This summer, my manifestation almost realized what does that mean? You have to, like, you have to be, like, it's this 100% or it's this. Like, it's my way or it's my way. That's it. You can't be, like, it almost happened or it's coming or I'm waiting for it to come. You have to be confident in, like, this thing is mine right now. And I don't give a fuck. Literally, I don't give a fuck. That's it. You have to be very confident. And most of y'all's, like, questions are real. like, lately, in the past, like, ten minutes, are really stemming from self-concept. Like, you have to work on that self-concept for sure. And be like, everything that I'm doing is right. Everything that I'm manifesting is correct. Everything that I'm doing... Everything that I'm manifesting, it comes instantly because I'm the operant power. I love you too, Virginia. Thank you all so much for all the love. I really appreciate it. And I love all of y'all back. Um, is it hard to manifest for a specific date? No, if you assume that like nothing is hard for me everything is easy that's exactly what it's gonna be so just assume that yeah if you can like not put pressure on yourself on that date and like low-key ignore it but at the same time be like it's coming by this date like I don't give a fuck I literally don't give a fuck It's coming by this day. That's exactly what it's going to be. I have to ask y'all a question. What do you guys think? I'm thinking of incorporating lives into my, you know, just creating content. Like once a week. And I'm having 
like so much fun with you guys right now. But I'm thinking like, what's best? Should I continue posting on TikTok or should I do YouTube lives? Because I have like 230k subscribers. So I'm thinking I'm going to go on YouTube live. But I've I've done it like two times before it blew up. Just for like funsies. Um, and I've done like TikToks for a little bit. But yeah. Tell me what y'all think. <laughs> Am I a kitten? Is meowing because he wants to cause chaos in this house. I love him so much. YouTube lives? Yeah. I agree. I totally agree. That would be so much fun. I, I'm i thinking of like uploading this one on YouTube as well. Because I think um, I covered a lot of good topics. A lot of good topics. Oh my god, how fun. Sola, thank you so much. Um, I'm about to end this live, so I will be getting back to you right after I end it. Yes, I put it. Okay, perfect. Does anyone else have any more questions for me? I will answer the remaining questions that you asked just now, and then I will go and upload this on YouTube. And reply to Sola. And get my testimonial. Oh my god. It says live will end in five minutes. We have detected inactivity during your current live. Oh my god. TikTok. TikTok said stay on YouTube. La Mayo. No jokes. I love TikTok so much. But I'm leaving in five minutes apparently. Can you make a new video about a day celebrity speak? I can. Oh my god, I love you too, a eh? 1999 12W. Okay, so if no one has any more questions for me, bless you too. Love you, Virginia. Um, if no one else has questions for me, I will go before YouTube, I mean TikTok. Kicks me out. But please, I have. Manifesting money. Wait, CL, can you send your message again? Because I didn't see it. Um, Manifesting money on a time crunch. Like, set the date. Of like when you want to manifest this thing. But then after that point, just ignore that. Like don't even think about your date. Because unless you work extremely under pressure, which can be like a motivating factor, it can cause so much resistance. So you have to really know yourself. And that really plays into self-concept. If you know yourself, if you're confident in yourself... If you know, hey, I actually work well under pressure and me like taking out the whip and being like, hurry up, bitch, keep affirming, keep staying in the state, bitch, until it comes, until, you know, the 20th of November rolls around, that could work for you. But for me personally, I'm like, I don't work well under pressure, I can't do that. So I would, even if I did have, like, a due date, I would just ignore it and be like, I have this thing right now, what are you talking about? And completely distract myself from the fact that 
I'm doing it in like a time crunch. You know what I mean? So it just depends on you. When manifesting a dream SP, do I have to go out and put myself out there? No. No, you don't. No. If you feel to just chill at home or do whatever it is that you want, that is going to lead you. Okay. When you set an intention that, you know, I am with my SP, right? And you fully trust that it's going to come in the perfect time. And you trust yourself and you know that you're a powerful master manifester. And you know inherently and deeply that you are deserving of love. You are deserving of this person, right? Um... You are going to act out of, like, inspired action. So there will come a day where maybe you are doing your hobby. Even if you're, like, playing Roblox or The Sims or whatever. Like, it will happen in such a natural way. Or maybe you're just going out to, like, the shops. Or you have someone being like, hey, you, like, this guy would be great for you. Like, whatever. Like, there is an infinite amount of ways. And just like that, like, the notion that you have to put yourself out there is just, like, it's coming out of fear from other people. And just don't listen to people that are, like, afraid. Afraid themselves. My AirPods made a funny noise. Um, yeah, just don't listen to anyone else. Just... Do what feels right for you and trust that that is enough and know that that is going to lead you to your SP. Hi, Shirley. I manifested him back, but he's gone again until he's not in love. How to bring him back? Okay. If TikTok, like, kicks me out before I answer this, I just want to say thank you all so much for... Because TikTok literally just gave me, like, five minutes. And they were like, girl, you gotta go. <laughs> so I feel like as I'm, like, starting to answer this, I might get kicked out. But thank you all so much who joined my live. And keep your eyes peeled on YouTube Live. I will be going live on there. Rudy Kaminsky on YouTube but um, I love you all so much and thank you so much for your time as well. But just reading your comments and like no judgments, uh, CL, it's giving very much desperate and that's okay, that's understandable. But we don't want to go into that energy as you're manifesting your SP. So... I would give it a few days, honestly, to just distract the fuck out of yourself. Do what makes you happy. Even if it means, like, being in bed and going on TikTok. Like, just meditate and be like, what will make me feel the happiest to do right now? Whether it's to do with this SP or not. Whatever it is that you have to do to just make yourself feel the best that you possibly can. Even if it is just a tiny bit more. Even if you are in that desperate energy, what's a little bit better than desperate energy? Feeling angry. Like, what is just, like, a one percentage that you can feel to feel better? And you're only doing this for a couple of days. And after we, like, do that, and we're a little bit in, like, a higher mood, then we can remind ourselves of our power, that we can manifest anything just instantly, Right? And we are the masters of our reality. Not look at the 3D and just completely focus on the fact that this SP is ours. They are in a relationship. But it's not giving that you have a great mindset though, girl. Like... 
you're asking me and that's not how what it's giving right now to me. If you had a great mindset, he would be like there would be signs of him uh the manifestation unfurling in your three D reality and it's fine that it's not like right now it's it's fine because you're actually learning how to manifest faster because what will happen is you will manifest him and I'm sure of it and then like you will you'll have this moment as like a resource to manifest everything else in your life like money best friends opportunities whatever like glow up so just don't focus on like if you're manifesting your right if you're desperate or if you have a great mindset or not don't worry about that just see how you feel if you feel like you're ready to manifest manifest if you're not give yourself a couple of days to just distract yourself because this kind of stuff like is very emotionally taxing sometimes and if you're in a low uh emotion then it is it's very helpful to just distract yourself you know what i mean like for just a couple of days right and you you come out with like a a little bit better perspective and then like without any judgment of yourself or the situation or the 3d you are putting your head down like an ostrich into the fucking dirt and you are consistently like focused with blinders on that sp is in a fucking relationship with me i don't give a fuck i don't give a fuck about what it looks like right now what it was before what he said my mindset whatever the fuck it is you are just blind as on and you are consistently in the state of the person who is in a relationship with that person and you're even if you don't believe it you are consistently repeating it to yourself as much as possible throughout the day and you're not fucking listening to anyone including yourself you're not looking at anything to do with your 3d reality you are just looking at the fact that this person is in a relationship with you right now and i don't give a fuck what i'm seeing in my 3d subliminals also help yeah working on self-concept too as um samaya said yeah working on self-concept is amazing How to let go. Um, I wouldn't be focused so much on the letting go. I would just be looking at like my manifestation and consistently, like in your mind, convincing yourself that it's in your reality. That's it. If you feel like you really want to let go, because there's a difference. If someone on YouTube is telling you to let go and you don't want to let go, don't listen to them. Just continue to manifest. If you're truly feeling like this is, like, I'm just fed up with this right now and it's lowering my vibration, you're only asking yourself on a moment-to-moment basis what makes me feel good to do right now. As much as it doesn't make sense, as much as it's like what the fuck, but this has nothing to do with me or my manifestation, it does, because it brings you into a higher vibration, and you will forget about that situation, and you will manifest it, because you have detached from yourself, from you just literally living your best life, from you literally just doing what feels good in each moment. If you need more help on that topic, I would YouTube search Rita Kaminsky for your happiness. Because that inadvertently will help you to let go.
You're welcome, Dana. How to manifest a guy from Instagram from another country who doesn't know me. Pick a technique or two that helps you get into the state. That's it. And just consistently keep reminding yourself that you are dating this guy or whatever it is like whatever you want with this guy right and you want to continue to do that as much as possible throughout the day for you I would like for example you can affirm like I'm in a relationship with insert name here I would also use um, stats and like um, like if this is a priority for you and just like imagine him even like because you met him through like Instagram it would be like it would be funny to visualize yourself on his Instagram as him like introducing you as his girlfriend I feel like that would be a vibe although whatever feels good all right guys I am going to go TikTok has not kicked me off um which is a good sign but I've been here for about an hour, I believe, but I'm going to post this on um, YouTube and you can check out the entire live. Keep your eyes peeled on my YouTube. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, it is Rita Kaminsky. It's literally just my TikTok name. YouTube search it. Join 230,000 people and... I've decided I'm going to do YouTube lives whenever I feel like it. I'm not going to, like, force myself or schedule because I'm just not that. I don't believe that that's effective. So just keep your eyes peeled on YouTube and I will be doing more lives on top of me posting YouTube videos. So I love you guys so much. I hope you have a fabulous night or day wherever you are and I will see you guys later. Bye.